As a boxer, I want to finish the game knowing that I fought a good calibre of people around me, if not the best. I'm looking to step it up. Every, every other match, step it up. If you're in the game of boxing, you can't be in it just to be a number. I was like really excited to be signed with Warren and especially about hearing that he was going to be putting on lockdown shows. So as soon as I started seeing them on TV, I was getting excited. I just wanted to punch anything and everything. And so as soon as I got um, an offer for a fight, I'm down. I'm ready to give people that smoke. What do I make of Cedric Paynard? Um, I think he's a decent boxer. Um, everyone talks about him and Conor Ben. Conor Ben struggled with him in the first match, had to rematch him. So when I go out there, I'm just going to be the best me and do what I do. And that's get people out of there. I am really proud to be the English welterweight champion. Um, then finally I got my chance against Andy Keats and I grabbed it with both hands. I got given a voluntary and I volunteered the title defence to Tyro Nurse. Everyone thought I was mad, but I wanted to send out a message. And after that, my mandatory Curtis Felix cemented that message. But now, it's time to move up. I would love to go for the British title. Um, naturally, after the English, I'm supposed to defend it, get a British eliminator of some sort. I've been waiting for my chance, and I know it will come soon. So whoever's got the title, be it Chris Jenkins or Conor Ben or whoever gets a chance at it, you best know that that I'm I'm in the background and I'm ready to come for it. I think what makes me different is my boxing brain and my knowledge and use of adapting in the match and during the match and how I change from from the first bell to round three, round five, round seven. I, I never fight the same. My prediction for Saturday night is going to get rough and ready in there. He's going to slow down. I'm going to pick it up and he's going to have to get out of there.